get everybody saved. All right, so let's go and get into uh, division because this one's important. And we're going to do some more practice on this um, next chapter. But again, just write it out, and then let's see what we need to do. So I have x over x minus 1 divided by the square root of x minus 3. Ah, oh, shoot. What the heck am I going to do here? Well, huh? What? Well, what I could do is I could rewrite this as a fraction. Therefore, I have a fraction divided by a fraction. And the reason why I like making a fraction in the denominator is because whenever I see a fraction in the denominator, I know that all I need to do is multiply by its reciprocal to get rid of that fraction. Right? Because you, you don't want to divide by a fraction, right? We like, instead of dividing by fractions, we like to multiply by the reciprocal. Well, since I, I can't just multiply a fraction by um, its reciprocal in the denominator, I have to do that in the numerator as, one, as well. is fraction equality of fractions. Yeah, you got to produce uh, equivalent fractions. So now you can see that these two multiply to give us 1. Any number multiplied by its um, reciprocal is 1. When I multiply again straight across, I'm left with x over x minus 1 times the square root of x minus 3. You were trying to multiply inside? Remember that does remember when I remember I showed that up here? It's a very common thing. You'll forget it and you'll do it. Just remember you can't multiply a number outside of the radical, inside of a radical. Okay? Um, but now let's go ahead and so that's the answer. So you can't simplify this really any further. But now let's go and look into the domain. And this is very, very important. Because Jacob, you brought this up. The domain, we know that this can't be equal one. And we remember here the domain is 3 comma 0. But what happens when, when we have 3 here? We get 0. Can 0 be in the denominator? No, because, well, actually, sorry. So if you put a 3 in here, 3 minus 3 is 0. Um, z square root of 0 is 0. 0 times anything is 0. x divided by 0 is undefined. Can't, well, you just can't divide by 0, right? So instead of doing, it's still 3 to infinity, but is 3 included now? No. So notice the difference that I have to use now. So if you have your radical in the denominator, the value cannot be included. That has to be 